everybody, my name is Farmer Phil, and in today's video, it's that time of the year again. The 6290 is in the yard, pipes are on, and it's time to get her serviced up, ready for the season ahead. And as per usual, I always keep telling myself I'm going to start servicing equipment a couple of weeks or a month before I need it, or servicing a couple of days before we need it. As per usual, nothing changed, but I suppose at least we we'll get done on time. That's the main thing. What has to be done this year? Thankfully, not as major a repair as last year, having to do a kingpin bearing. Um, we'll run through it there, but thankfully, not too much. She finished up quite well. We currently have no headlights working, so we have extra lights put on the front reeler. So we have these ones here were on the headlights, and then these were on on the these were on dips, these were on full, so that could come on as extra light. So when we're traveling off road, you had like a full and a low. We still have power coming to the front, through the side markers, but we're not getting power through to the, either the fulls or the sides, and that kind of went towards the end of last year. I think it's down to wiring, so I'm going to change the wiring. Second, as you may tell, one of me flashing flashers isn't working on the wing mirrors. Also have some light issues. So I ha about half the lights are currently working, half aren't. Side lamps aren't working, lights on the mug guards aren't working, and lights on the arms. So the arms have two more lights on them when they fold out. They're not working either. Move to the dribble bar. And the biggest thing we have to do here is pipes. So we have to go along and our lay flats. Some of them are gone at the top there, so they tend to sometimes block if you're in thick stuff. So they all have to be cut, short and brought up. There's one or two missing. We also finished up with quite a lot of pipe problems. Kept coming off, so I have new clips to go on, new piping coming tomorrow to replace some of the pipes that are damaged and just tidy up that. We also have to open up the macerator, check it out, clean it out and see what the wear is like, hoping to get one more. I think last year I said I'd get one more season. We're hoping to string it for one more season and then hopefully 2025 we'll be going in with a new system. That's our plan currently. But and then just general service. One other thing we have to do is our swivel is gone bearing has gone in it. It's still turning. We also lost a few bolts, but we're replacing the whole swivel. And apart from that, sweep out the cab, clean her out, shimmy the windows. Oh, we have uh, we have to replace the connection between the two diesel tanks. I started to leak, so there's a bottom tank and a top tank, and they're joined by a rubber, like a rubber pipe. And the more you think, the more you start finding more things to do. General tractor service. Tractor is, you look at the clock, it says two, but we est our estimate now is around the tractor's around 29,000 hours. Is what that 6290 is done. I went on to the pipes, uh, went ahead. We were just after changing, putting on its third exhaust, and they generate the exhaust burn out every 10,000 hours. So she just needs full engine filters change, oil change, all that fun stuff, all the usual stuff after that. But really and truly, it's not too much to do, it's just a lot of wiry bits with the uh, lights, pipes, macerator. The biggest end of it is probably going to be changing the swivel and changing the pipe on the diesel tank. So we're starting today in the dark, so I'm making starting it this evening. So I'm going to start with uh, cleaning out the cab, getting the cab nice and clean and ready for rock and roll. And then I'm going to start into seeing can I get the lights to work on the front reeler. Just so anyone can see where we're starting from. There's no rubbish in. Oh, another thing, I need to put a step on. Is my third step fell off again, so I have to get that put on. But apart from a few pipes, there's no rubber, it's just to take out all the slurry dust. Time of the year again. So, cab is cleaned out, and exactly nothing too exciting with it. I have everything left ready to go back in, so we're moving on to the headlights now. So, I have my lights turned on, I have my side markers, but I have nothing else. So, that means I have power to. The light that goes to the front was just taking off all the headlights here because we don't need these with the front reeler. These are worthless, absolutely pathetic. No use unless the front reeler is off, but the front reeler is never off. Took the power off it, it goes straight into these cables, which goes on out. So that means rather than having a parker, my parkers are powered off the headlights. Yeah, my side, side markers are off the headlight, which will be on the dip. So I should have power. This is what's getting me. 
So if I take my not very nice looking joint here, which I'll probably replace now, which I will replace, because it's um it's like a few years since we um put I suppose it was after the year we bought it, we kind of realized well we can't really see in front of the reeler. The old reeler actually had they say headlights on it to be fair, so we up we fitted it out when we bought it, as well as we fitted out the back the whole back operation, I think all was done at the one time. So if I can actually peel this tape, which was red and is now white and very brittle. Start seeing where we've power and where we have no power. Three wires going in, three wires going out. All I have to do is poke in to these. Yeah. So we've powered through one. Right. So we've no power through that one. Of course there's power there. Yeah. And they're doubled up. Power on my fulls. Let's see if I have power there. Fulls are on. So I should have no. So yeah we've power in two wires. There's the ow. Seems we no power coming. Do we need heads and dips on it. It was a cool feature when it worked, but we don't really need them because we rarely ever move this on the road that much anymore. So I'm thinking if I can just get me wire that has power and just join all my wires into that, it might just be as handy just to get all the lights working rather than having no lights in front of me. Strip this wire back and see is there even power coming up this far because there should be power here. No, no power. Might just double check fuses, even though I don't think it could be a fuse problem. If I steal the light, I'll maybe go around the other side. There's no power coming to the front of the tractor for the heads, for the fulls. So I'm going to have a quick look at my fuses and then um, go through the fuse board and see if there any fuses gone. Be a case that it's just 29,000 hours and a hell of a lot of slurry put around it has left them um, some of my wiring in pieces but as i said it's not vital that we had heads and dips but if it's a case of a fuse or something simple this is well get sorted don't give up because you're tired of waiting all grown up. i have all my lights stripped back now and everybody is working. What would have been the usual head. This one then was the light to come out at the side. And then this was the light facing forward underneath the reeler. Now we're sucking diesel. Full lights on the front. There is literally just, you can see the shadow. That is the only shadow that's cast on the front that you won't be, well, some of it. So yeah, makes a good difference. So that's that done. Now I'm gonna keep at the lights there. Uh, Father Phil has gone to get the new roll of piping for doing the pipes. When he gets back with that, then I'll switch over to do that and let him do wiring. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's good to have lights. And it's the next day, it's towards the evening. So, dead man's on. I want to drop off the back reeler now before I forget about it. So I'm going dead in the battery working on the lights. This all tidied up. He shrunk. Quite happy with how it turned out. So I have that side done. Just have to do that side and that. So I just got to try and blitz it. Also have to pull all my stuff back into the cab. So these are all the bits that, well, apart from some of that is electrical stuff. Ooh. My father Phil has dropped me a few presents. There's our new fitting for in there. We have a new one of these. We don't actually need it, but we'll hang on to it. Two clips for that. So that's for the rubber boot between the tanks. New fuel filters and gloves. We get our started up and um, I drop off the back radar because just want to get that done. Before I did not the batteries rip rooting away at lights.
So just working on this light here hasn't been working and it's down to a bad earth wire so I'm after cleaning it all up and just have to join it now but ta da Yeah yeah make sure whatever you cut off And now we have the flashy beacon back going so I just put a new one on it's totally different to the other one they're not in any kind of unison <laughs> still let's people get the gist she's big but yeah really sowing through all my electrical problems now so all that's left life wise is just to sort out power to them which is probably going to be the biggest end of that so I'm going to get a bit to eat and then I'm going to come back out and I'm going to start doing all the pipes on the dribble bar as I have the roll here so yeah but getting through it So just finished off the Omni Droppers. So I had to shorten them. Yes, they're all different lengths because I had to shorten some of them. I just reused what I had. No point putting on new piping. The problem you kind of have with this is it's gone pretty rigid. So I put everything that way so that it doesn't really bend back because it's the bending that causes them to go where they're joined like that. And anywhere where you get like that, or where it goes split like that, if you get into a bit of fibrous slurry, that just blocks. So that's why shorten them all up. Put the into them as well. Why? The clean end, not having them tearing like that. That's a It shouldn't catch because there's nothing, nothing there to stop it. And then I shortened, really shortened them middle ones. The problem I was having with the middle ones was because we were letting it down when we're on low loader quite a lot, as you should. The ends all crinkle up. And then when you go to spread after a couple of days, they kind of stay shut. Or if you have a bit of frost, they could be frozen and you're not getting the slurry out. So just cut them short so that doesn't happen. So Father Phil and Bro are going to service the engine filters and all that crack, fuel the whole lot, fix the heater plug or the um, heater for the engine. So to give it the preheat. And um, yeah, so I'm going to start into my orange piping. So yeah, I'm going to go through pipe by pipe make sure that there's no kinks up here which can happen so you see where these heavy pipes are that's to stop them kinking you can see that one there is kinked so that one is going to have to be taken off and changed and i'll have to get a bit of pipe and there should be a bit of piping like that up there and just basically just go through it all to have all that done put everything back on check for the likes of this where it closed on the arm we'll have to change that one and yeah Happy out. I guess stuck into it. And this is what Father Phil spent money on. Well, it was bought before it went to Mill Street show, but it was the pump. And I know we barely showed it in the video. I think I was a bit nervous when I was filming, like not to show too much. But um, yes, this is what Father Phil bought. So. We bought um, 250 meters of piping. four and a third, pi four, four and a third piping. So two rolls is 250 meters. It's together. It's 125 meters a roll. So more. 100. I thought it was 200. Oh, oh, it's 240 meters then. In two rolls, and the main bit, another uh, slurry Bauer slurry pump. So went for the high spec contractor spec pump. So it has a higher spec vacuum pump, which we've seen at Balmoral Show last year, which Father Phil was very keen on, as the vacuum pump is something that always lets us down. So be interesting to see how that goes. Also then the return to the tank, so that when we are spreading, if I wanted to stop an add-on pipe without having Father Phil to stop to keep the prime on the pump. Thank you very, very low. He can open this valve, it's going to shoot back into the return, there's a pipe came with it to return to the tank, then close this valve, so then no more slurry comes to me, but the pipe maintains its prime and is returning. And then when I have my pipe down and ready to go, Father Phil just 
opens one, closes the other, and then we're back pumping again. No time lost trying to prime the pump or anything. Also, the reason we went for a new pump is so that we can go to two pumps because we have a handful of jobs that where two pumps is it's, it's basically it's wanted. It, we always get to a point where we just can't go any further, and there's further we can go. So now we can do inline pumping. So we'll have this pump in the tank. We'll have our old pump in the middle, and then we can pump the journey. We have four. We must have two kilometers of piping now, maybe a bit more, so we can go the journey. So happy days, that's what Father Phil bought from the show, and anyone who gets slurry equipment, very safe bet, but I don't think anyone said pump. Well, it's not very fair either, because we didn't really show it in the video. But anyway, I'm back to service on the tractor, and um, yeah, I'm going to stick it into this video, because it's not over exciting. Well, it is exciting, but it's not over exciting. So yeah, we'll be on. And that's another step. All the pipes are done. So we put on three brand new pipes. We replaced another two with three long pipes to put on new where they had crimped up there or the ends had come off there. And then we used them then to replace with two short pipes. One there and one of them there to replace. But that's all done now. Fry is here with us. He's after breezing down the machine. I give him a hand make sure everything was done. The battery died on the GoPro as it does because it's cold and batteries do not last very long in the cold. Father Phil is the tractor service so he's after changing all the engine oil filters, fuel filters, the whole lot. And he's just working on the diesel tank here. How's it going? Well, it's alright, only the tip, someone over tightened the bloody tip. Oh, and it won't. That's now. Right. So you can just see it in there. So it's literally just, where's, there's the boot there. So that's why he has to put in. And it is quite literally just, that's perished and it's starting leaking when it's full. The fuller the tank, the more it leaks. Do you think it was ever changed on it before? Or? I don't know once before. Oh, you don't once before? Uh, I'm quite sure I don't know once before. Yeah. As it do about here. Yeah. Then they perish. Lastly, ticking things off the list. Um, all I think is left is heater for the engine and macerator. Oh, and a wire in the cab. So now me and Troy will whip the macerator off. And for those of you who would have seen Bro out, in the shorts, he's um, he's in college. Everyone was asking where he is because that's why you don't see him because he's in college. He's trained to be a teacher, a woodwork teacher, and he's still off for the Christmas. So he goes back next week. Now we're going to take off that side of the macerator, that side I had off last year, and then check out the macerator, make sure I have no stones blocked, and then use a water pipe to check that all my droppers are dropped. <laughs> And now we have the macerator open, so she's a bit rusty. So we have one hole block there, one hole block there. So one of the last jobs we were finished up on in the back end was a farm that uses, or yeah, uses has a, um, oh, the one time they were quite popular, not so much anymore, but a wood chip pad for cattle to stand on. It's just like to have a shed and then they can go outside and stand on this wood chip pad. But the biggest problem we always see when we go there is the wood chips get in and they always block just past the hole. It's like it just cuts it off and then leaves it. So seems to be still a bit there to be wore down yet. So there's bare metal there. There's another bit to go. Another bit to go. And then she's well rounded. Like there's no there's no edge left on the hole. They're well rounded. But um, now we get another year. We'll, we'll wrangle another year over. So I'm just going to... Literally, it shouldn't take any. Yeah. Great pain. Not too bad. If you get any blockages there, you can take off your inspection plate there. You can get any of the ones in that kind of triangle, but anything that's down this side, nightmare to try and get rid of. Because you just can't get your hand around. You can see where the disc sat there, there, and there was one there. And you can get your hand over, you can't get by there. You can get your hand under, you can't get by there. It's always really hard to get it in there where you need to. But anyways. We trim, we finish up up here and then I'll go down and 
check out the wear on the cotton discs. Man, that's the inside of the macerator. That's seen millions and millions and millions of gallons. So I just finished servicing up the tractor. Well, the tractor's already serviced from uh, during the winter for now. So I just stuck a lock of shocks of crease around that, tested everything, everything's grand. Father Phil's just cutting the shaft to length. We also then serviced up the um, applied very mount, could do it a wash, but we've all oiled up, all greased down. She's ready to rock and roll. So, yeah, another day, nearly there. So, just a small bit of wiring left to do and to get the master her back on. The, or side of the master. The problem we were having last night, and the reason we didn't get it on, and I was very frustrated, hence I didn't film that much last night to finish off, is the arm is a bit too far extended and it's enough of a pull on the pipes that I cannot get it to stretch back in. So we'll have to um, start to track the father fill as the new thing in with we'll the diesel in because he'd let all the diesel out, get that done. So then pull up the arm a bit so we can get that on. We should be finished in an hour or so. And finally, we have it going back together. So big up to the man himself, the lazy legend, bro. In the shorts in January, as you do, me in full winter attire, and he, shorts and t-shirts, see his breath, hardy sham, huh? Hardy sham. Anyways, big thanks to bro because it was his brainwave to get live out to give a hand to hold it out. Anyways, what we're doing now is I just have me two guides on we did put a third guide in there and a really long bolt just to help but I just have to tighten them in make sure my stars and everything sit into place couple of turns and come back to here check that everything looks hunky dory in there tighten another one all the pipes into place and go again out here and you get the idea all we've left to do is put this back together, just finish up here, and then we are done. We have everyone else working, lights are all working. We're done. Ready for some slurry. It's going to say a bad word. I said slurry instead. Is that right, bro? Mm. Mo bigger, go home. Very much, yeah. So the final tests is to extend my arms and see none of my pipes come off. It's the one biggest gripe I have with the mast tech is I am forever putting pipes back on. Turn on some lights, make sure everything is a working. Memory serves me right. There is 27 LED lights on the tractor. So she's all working. The cess, that was working. Seems to have got good power. Oh. I'm gonna have to go root in there, that pipe seem good. My left one, a bit long, we'll see how that works out. Yeah, no, everyone's looking good there now. Fix that, and then we'll put that back on, and then we are ready to go spray some stuff. So, very easy problem to fix, it's just broken wire. Once I pull back, to just grow it off, so just cut that thing, rejoin, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and we'll have some lights back. Well chuffed now, I done all the electrical work there, Father Phil, even though I asked him to do a bit, he, he, in the end he didn't, he was busy getting the pump set up, he's that hall set up, sitting over there, ready to rock and roll, so I'm just going back in and put on the, the trail re or the reeler now, and we'll be golden, we will be golden.
and that is the 6290 all the machinery ready to go for this slurry season it's taking a bit of time taking a little bit longer than i was hoping i didn't get started when i want i was hoping i get this done around christmas and you know pop a video oh we're ready and so much time instead i have one day it's the same as last year i think we finished last year a day ahead of ourselves so we have one day where we can chill and then we roll so yeah this is what it is anyway it's tuesday won't be long coming now but at least we're one day ahead the year before then when we went to drive off we lifted the front reeler and she bust the pipe and spent half the day trying to fix it but hopefully that doesn't happen tomorrow but anyways that's it done how's everyone else getting on it's by the time you see this slurry will have kicked off what's ground conditions like where you are uh, things are drying here um it's cold but drying that's the main thing no I haven't had well had a bit of rain today now but nothing worth talking about so but yeah that's the dry's job so anyways hope everyone is keeping well hope everyone has a safe and well slurry season and mind them gases and um yeah that's it from now till march from from tuesday till march that's 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 what i'll be at and i'm looking forward to it but anyways look i'm gonna leave it at that for today's video i hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck